Sagittarius, good morning. Welcome to your reading. Welcome to Emrys Tarot. Ooh. So flip the cards. I was going to explain it. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Strength card here. Plucking up the strength and the courage. Willpower. To go after what you want. After a lot of indecision. Anyway, let's get back to this. All right, well, I shuffle the cards. Yes, I do do personal readings. My email is in the description box below. If you can't see it, just click the more button and it, the drop down box will reveal it. I will send you all the information you need to know about booking a reading. Okay, very happy to do that. Secondly, these energies are very fluidic in these general readings. Okay, you may only be inspired to watch me and listen to a couple of minutes of it won't necessarily 100% resonate all of it okay if it doesn't resonate I upload videos every week and I do hope you'll have the tenacity to stick around and listen to another one all your support is very much appreciated so what's going on for my Sagittarius Sagis this week all right what are you dealing with you're assessing a way forward you're ready to communicate the changes you want in a situation whether you're dealing with an ex whether you're dealing with work and you're making plans okay there's something here that you're preparing to put your time and energy into because a lot of you have decided that it's viable Okay, but you want to ring the changes. All right. You're not, you're leaving the past in the past. All right. Death card. Why on earth would you want to pick up, if you're dealing with an ex or somebody from your past, why on earth would you want to return to something that didn't work before without changes? Okay. Now, the universe is very clever. Sometimes when our relationships go away, there's a very, very good reason for that. Okay, and maybe if you're dealing with a soulmate or somebody you really like, there has to be some changes take place. You know, and sometimes that means a painful separation, arguments, etc. It's kind of like going through the rough to the get to the best bits. You're wheedling out the stuff from the past. You have no desire to return to the past in the sense of re-envisioning, revisiting bad energy. All right. You're only interested in good energy at the moment. All right. So you could well be dealing with an X. Okay. But uh, what I'm getting is here, the energy between you two has completely changed. This is not picking up where you left off. This is an entirely new approach. Mm. You'll maybe, I can hear the word, yes, we can give it a try. But I'm not taking any BS of any kind. The first whiff of BS and I'm off. I need something solid. I can hear you saying I need something solid. I need I need this to be very grounded if I'm going to put my time and effort. You hurt me in the past. You're not going to do it again. Mm. What else is going on? There's pretty powerful energy coming from you, Sagittarius. All right, pretty powerful energy. You're not willing to put all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. You're not willing to give this person your all. Not straight away. It's kind of like you're assessing to see how it goes. You're looking for support. Okay. And also there's a plan. I'm kind of getting you've been planning something here. All right. There's support for each other. Okay. Your loyalties have been split. But I'm kind of getting after a lot of a thinking and a lot of assessment. Okay, you're going from a seven to a six. So you're wheedling out things in your life that no longer serve you. You're perhaps letting go of a previous lifestyle. Maybe maybe you were dating and had 
several people and you were jumping from place to place and going from a seven to a six slowly but surely you're eliminating problems and finding solutions now some of you could be married but living in a separated situation you know, a lot of you are financially independent okay and you're deciding yeah how much time and energy you want to put into this particular relationship it's kind of like a very strong appreciation between you and this person it's appreciating each other a bit more things have changed what else is here Oh, finding a new way to love. Instead of a spread energy and split loyalties, an in and out and up and down energy, you're going from a seven to a six and then back to an eight. So that means focus. You've done your assessing. You've done your planning a bit. You've readjusted your life. You've rearranged your life to a degree. Maybe made a few sacrifices. Let go of some people you feel no longer deserve you. Okay. Some of you have maybe been looking for quick fixes in the past. Been too Spartan with your emotions. Okay, but this is focus. This is focus on one person. Okay. You're coming into the energy on getting a lot of you making yourself readily available. But your brain is in gear and you're being very practical. Yes, you're starting to open up to this person on getting. All right, somebody is sending you very some nice sensitive messages. All right, there's this realization you are belonging. You feel you belong to each other. Mm-hmm. So you're very much focused. You've achieved a lot in work and maybe built up a home here. Nice place. I'm kind of getting your now, some of you, after a lifestyle of singularity, okay, living alone or whatever, I'm kind of getting your ready to give this a trial run to see how it goes actually living with somebody. Mm. look at that and there's that strength card again could be dealing with a Leo Gemini energy or making a choice between a Leo and a Gemini <sighs> lovers you're realising who your soulmate is mm -hmm. wow it's a good energy there's a lot of very, very positive energy and a positive approach. You do want certain conditions met, though. I'm kind of getting you temporarily revisiting the past in your speech to this person and saying, look, this happened in the past. I don't need this anymore. It's like compliance, reciprocity between you. But there's a good energy of support for each other here now. You was way out of balance in the past. I'm kind of getting here. Much more passive approach. Somebody here has realised, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody's realised that aggression is not necessary. You know, a much calmer approach. Here, a lot of healing coming out this despairing energy. Mm. giving it a trial run and a lot of you are dealing with the past I'm getting the nervousness somebody's convinced you that it were I'm getting that there's been a lot of communication okay a lot of healing here coming out this worry coming into this more relaxed atmosphere between you two it does require you stepping outside of your comfort zone you know, but, uh, yeah. Considering other people sharing your life with somebody else does mean a few small sacrifices. You can't just do what you want anymore. But I'm kind of getting a, a few of you are willing to give that, at least give it a go. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just picking up maybe some of you are dealing with a Gemini. But there's conversation here. Speaking your mind to a degree without being aggressive. It's kind of like you are starting again and spiritually you're getting to know each other on a childlike basis, having fun, you know, trying to keep things very, very simple. A lot of you are dealing with an air sign. Okay, but don't worry if you're not. No, it's just that energy. There seems to be a lot of enthusiasm here. And a relationship that does have the opportunity to develop. Wow. There's that spark. Look at that. Very charismatic. That's that spark, that enthusiasm. There's a lot of drive and ambition with this. I'm picking up you inviting somebody to your home or being invited. Because going forward, this is making yourself readily available or the person you're dealing with making their self readily available. Whatever, I'm picking up time spent with you. All right. Grounding it out. And the chance here to, like a trial run, yeah. You separating yourself from past ties, becoming financially independent. Okay, this person also doing the same and building a very, very nice lifestyle with each other. There's going to be an adjustment period, obviously, if you've been living alone. All right, and then all of a sudden, sharing a house with somebody it requires a, a settling in period and yeah your comfort zone being a bit disrupted for a while but i'm kind of getting the desire here and the enthusiasm for a reunion and realizing you're very content bringing yourself into a very contented lifestyle that's cool thanks very much for watching Saj. i'm mumbling there Thank you very much for watching Sagittarius. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.